So guys, I've been playing with my nothing phone for roughly 3 weeks to a month already. And I can see that the camera is good. By, by yung kanyang default na stock na camera, it's good. Dahil I believe that the nothing phone is more of a camera phone. Dahil sa kanyang dalawang 50MP na camera module dito sa likod. And dahil halos kinopia na si iPhone, so definitely camera ang habol mo dito sa phone na ito. Now, kanyang camera interface is not that far from the iPhone. So today, tuturo ko sa inyo how to improve your photos, your videos dito using the nothing phone one. And so, are you excited? Tara, simulan natin. So hi guys, I'm si Richman ng Gadget Psychic and welcome back to my channel. So this is the default na stock camera ni nothing phone one. So we have here some of the function like slow-mo, video, and kita dati yung video we can record at the most is a 4K 30fps. So you can turn on HDR or not but of course HDR 1080p lang siya. So one of the highlights here is definitely si Glyph. So either you use a torch, the well, ganito itsura. Or you use a fill light na ganito itsura. Which for me, ah, it's very useful. You can also calibrate your photos na nandito. But of course, and you can set yung megapixel dito sa taas. Just like that. And some of the camera settings are here. Which I think is very basic. The only thing probably that's missing is wala siyang watermark. Just like another iPhone. You can also use your Google lenses over here which of course will come in handy uh, especially on the things that you alam. So let's just picture this one. Okay, so kita niya, it's a nothing ear one. Meron din siya portrait lens and you can calibrate the aperture over here kung gaano siya ka blurred ang yung background no. So nasa sa inyo yun. So here are some other na functions you can use time lapse, panoramic, macro and expert mode which is the pro mode. Yeah, so you can calibrate everything here on your own if you are a pro shooter. Today, hindi natin pag-uusapan ng camera. But instead, we'll be talking on how to improve yung mga shots and mga videos mo dito sa nating phone 1. And to start things off, you need to go to my video sa nating phone which nasa description box, makita nyo, andito ang Gcam. Okay? Sa description box. And quick shoutout nga pala kay Brian Bonifacio for teaching me this method. And it's really useful. I like it. So, pag-click natin na itong link na ito, you will download this file. MGC underscore 8.1.101 underscore A9 underscore GV2A underscore snap dot APK. So, click lang natin ito. So, pag-click natin, the first one, okay? So, skip lang natin mga ads ito. So, okay? So, na-download mo lang siya. So, since na-download ko na, so download again. Okay? So after that, mag-install lang siya. So it's very simple. Okay? Want to download multiple files? Nina. Okay? So So sa akin ano no, update, but basically it's just more of a installing. So install lang niya just like that. Ganun lang done. Okay? So makita mo sa inyong home screen, andiyan yung camera app. This is the Gcam. So I'll be showing you some samples a little later. And so, kita natin ang kanyang user interface is, is nothing near to nothing. So, simulan muna natin. No? So, meron siya night view, which I think is missing. Okay, nothing. So, this might come in handy for taking night photography. And sa portrait, okay. So, dito naman, you can tap to focus. Okay. So, you can adjust your brightness, which I think hindi ko napansin din no? sa default camera app. Okay. So, but... One thing that's missing naman dito sa kabila is hindi ko ma-adjust ka aperture. My good, my bad. So this is the default camera. So you can either use the ultra-wide lens or the wide lens which is by far default dito. And drop down lang natin menu. So these are some of the things that you can calibrate here. You can focus sa uh, subject, sa tao, sa landscaping, or well, infinity. So you can turn your flash. So one thing that's for sure is you can turn the flash on. Auto flash. Uh, actually, hindi nga gumagana yung torch. Eh. Okay. So not really a big deal. And HDR. 
So, pwede mo yung turn on or off. So, this is the Google Auto White Balance. You can turn it on or you can turn it off depending sa inyong kailangan. So, yung timer, nandito rin siya. Ang ratio, either go for a wide or a 4 is to 3. Some other settings dito na pwede nyo laruin. There's a lot over here. So, camera sounds, uh, Google Lens suggestions. You can share it social dito. Gestures. Okay. So, some of the framings, my grid, wala. OIS, you can turn it on over here sa video. Then, pwede mo rin siya i-force, no? 4K 60fps, which is wala sa, I don't know, sa stock na camera. And you can also force 8K 60fps, which I'm not sure if it works. So, by far, I've been trying to make the video on the Gcam work, but apparently it's not working. Maybe somebody might be able to port it pretty soon. A more perfect Gcam app for the Nothing Phone 1. Let's just keep our fingers crossed. Now, there are some other things that you can also do here. Panoramic and, of course, Photosphere, which you can create a 360-degree photos out of this one, which is a very cool function to do here on this phone, which is, of course, not available on the default stock camera by the Nothing Phone 1. Now, let's quickly compare some photos I've taken using the G-Cam and the stock camera. Now, we can see that on both photos, the stock camera was able to take in some really nice photos. But using the G-Cam, it has dramatically improved the colors, the saturation, and of course, the overall presentation. The, the photo is, I think, a lot better compared to the stock camera. And of course, that's what the G camera do is to improve your photos, making it more dramatic, making it looks a little bit better than the default stock camera. And by far, it's doing its job, uh, giving me some better photos here on the Nothing Phone 1. Right now, since I'm enjoying my G camera more than my stock camera, so how about taking this out and replacing it with the G cam? What do you think of it? So guys, if you like this tutorial, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, click that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads here from my channel. And of course, that is how you make the most out of the camera from your Nothing Phone 1. And so with that said, I'm Richmond, and you're watching Gadget Sidekick. What's up?